keeping with the pace of the world, technologies and working processes are changing day by day. In so far as you know, the painting task and the painters have also been upgrading themselves with easy to use and highly beneficial tools. Paint roller and paintbrush are two commonly used tools in a painting project and without them, most projects will remain incomplete for sure. However, a paint roller and a paintbrush will assist you in any way of painting, no matter what the surface is. In simple words, the paintbrush is the oldest and most popular tool for the painter because it's small, easy to carry and flexible. Besides, they're perfect for painting details, edges and hot areas. On the other hand, a paint roller is more unique and more economical than a paintbrush, suitable for larger areas and lets you paint faster. Since paint rollers and paintbrushes excel in different areas, hence you should use them depending on the type of project. For that purpose, today we will discuss paint roller versus paintbrush, which one should you get in today's video. First, let's have a closer look at the paintbrushes. In general, paintbrushes are small, easy to carry and flexible. For being small and having great flexibility, they are very effective for painting in hard to reach and tough areas like corners, closets, pantries and the sidings of your house. Plus, you can use a brush to paint on wood, metal, concrete and uneven surfaces. Paintbrushes give you substantial facilities for painting in various sizes and types. You can get different types of brushes from the market. Narrow brush to paint joints and alcoves, wide brush for edges and larger surfaces and radiator brush for corners. With well controlling aspects and compact size, paint brushes help to create a textured effect with brush strokes. If you get yourself nylon or polyester brushes, you'll be able to do perfect water based paints. And if you get natural brushes, it will help you with all based paints, varnishes and stains. So paint brushes are ideal for smaller areas that require more attention and detailed work. Before 1940, paint rollers had never been used in the painting world, but with the flow of the modernized world, they have come into play. Paint rollers are ideal for professional painters who paint large areas such as walls, ceilings, large furnitures, etc. Though there are many types of rollers available in the market, you can choose the perfect one for an existing task. With the plastic rollers, you can complete water-based paints, natural fiber for solid-based paints, and sponge rollers for oil-based paints. Additionally, paint roller sizes range between 2 and 18 inches and the filament length depends on the degree of surface preparation. Therefore, in order to cover your larger area painting easily with economic results, the paint roller will assist you in all the ways you want without wasting a single drop of paint. When it comes to texture, a paintbrush and roller can bring top grade results if they're used in skilled hands. As paintbrushes are more portable and smaller than paint rollers, you can use them anytime, anywhere and you can create unique fall finishes on your surfaces. In the right hands, a paint roller can produce various effects. Though you'll need to use both types of tools on maximum painting projects, you have to switch them back and forth instead of relying on only one. In terms of holding capacity, you can generally paint more and cover a large surface with minimal time with the paint roller in hand, while the paintbrush will allow you to paint small spaces, corners and edges with standard precision. And there will be no wastage of paint if you adopt the paint roller for your DIY or professional painting tasks. As we all know, paint roller and paintbrush have different work efficiencies. They're eligible for individual spaces, so you can achieve the best outcome if you use them both in a combined manner. Just pick the brush and start painting the corners, tight areas and edges and then take the roller in hand to cover larger surfaces. With this mixed method, you'll experience an efficient and time-saving way of painting and will be finishing a complete project using a less amount of paint. While you're up to doing any major remodeling in your house or your job site, make sure to keep both paintbrush and paint roller in your storeroom or else you'll end up with a great hassle and imprecise painting at the end of the day. So that was the today's video on paint roller vs paintbrush, which one should you get? Thanks for watching our video. Like, comment and share with your friends if you find this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed.